Oh, hello everybody, this is RJ Epic here, and welcome to my all new Comic Call number 169. That is right, I'm back from our all new Comic Call, and this is my third of the day, possibly my last, possibly not, we'll see how it goes. Um, and this is, this is probably the, this is one of the smaller hauls that I have left to do. Uh, we've got two stacks here. Um, this is probably going to be a pretty quick video, but we will see. Um, this was technically supposed to be the last haul, but because I have so much DC stuff coming to show off, I decided to put my, uh, excuse me, Future State Hall before this one. And, um, didn't hurt that this one was going to be so, uh, quick anyway, and smaller than the rest, pretty much, so. I figured I could do this one, um after that one slash possibly the last one for the day um so uh i'm positioned slightly different i'm uh, as you guys probably figured i uh film uh film with putting the comics on my bed so i've since it's so small i got them near the end of my bed um and just i'm actually sitting on my bed while i film just don't want to try it see if it worked so far it is working quite well should work for such a small haul uh, in this left stack to the left, we have my independent stack, and then this is my Marvel stack. No DC to be seen. The first comic or two are a little slightly bent, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to jump into the comics now, and we're going to start off with a couple comics from AWA uh, Upshot Studios. We've got Bite Size, issue number 404, an all-aged comic, last issue. Fair excited to get, to get to read that at some point. And then I have Man's World, issue number 3 of five or something i don't know um from aftershock i've got nuclear family issue number two from a dark horse i uh picked up the whole uh mini series of spy island so i got issue number one of four cover a and cover b number two cover a and cover b number three cover a and cover b and number four cover a and cover b i put off picking up spy island for a long time but i am actually quite excited to read this title uh next i picked up and caught up on well not caught up anymore am i i don't even remember but i caught up at the time to uh for oblivion song and i got issue number 27 26 or 27 26 27 28 excuse me 29 and 30 and this is the second last arc, so the next arc is going to be the last, and I guess it's going to end at issue 37, uh, from what I've read. Um, then we move into The Walking Dead Deluxe. I wanted to catch up on that uh, at the time, so I got issue number 8 here. Cover A by David Finch, cover B by Tony Moore, cover C by uh, Tedesco, and cover... Uh, only cover C. And next is number 9, cover A by Finch, cover B by Tony Moore cover C by Tedesco, and issue number 10, cover A by Finch, cover B by Moore, cover C by uh, R. Adams, and then uh, to end off the independent stack, I got a new number one from Image Comics in Shadecraft, issue number one. This is so far built to be an, well, this is built to be an ongoing, so we don't know how long this run's going to be. Uh, this is by the creative team of Sky uh, Skyward, which I just actually, a, like, a few weeks, a month ago, finished off. Such a good fucking series. I'm very excited to read this title. I cannot wait. And I got the cover A and the cover B for this one. Very excited for this title. Moving on now to the Marvel stack. First, I want to start off with picking up the whole first volume of, uh, volume slash mini series of Maestro, since I had been putting that off. So I got issue number one here, got the regular cover, and the, um, Joe Bennett variant, homage variant, or whatever you want to call it. Got number two, regular cover and variant cover by, um, who does this one? Can I tell? I can't right now. Um, I've got issue number three, regular cover and variant cover. And I got number four, regular cover and Ryan Otley variant. Just a regular cover again, just to show. I wasn't paying attention to my camera angles, so. Um, so yeah, I used the Ryan Otley variant for issue number four. Good stuff there. And I got issue number five of five, regular cover. Sorry, I'm trying to frame my camera. Here, uh, and variant as well and then 
because I wanted to be fully caught up in the new mini series starter. They got Maestro War and Packs issue number one, regular cover, and variants, Stagman variant, I believe, and McGinnis variant. One of them's Stagman, one of them's McGinnis, I think. Then I get issue number, I'm sure Warren packs number two, uh, number five issue one, by the way, regular cover and variant. And then I get issue number three of my sure Warren packs, regular cover and variant. And there's two more issues. I think they 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 should both be out now, so I've just got to pick them up. So hopefully in the next uh, haul issue I pick up in person, uh, maybe even as soon as tomorrow. It's June 26th, Saturday when I'm recording this. Maybe even as soon as tomorrow I can pick up and finish off uh, my show. Um, next, I got Silk issue number one of five. Uh, Silk finally getting her own series again. I got the regular cover. I got the uh, Yoon variant. I believe that's Yoon. I got the beautiful John Bartel Woman's History Month variant. And then, is this the last fin? It is. The last fin of the haul is I picked up my first of the Marvel Forces one-shots in Marvel Forces Legacy. I've since gotten all the rest that have come out. And honestly, I also might try to hunt down uh, a copy or two of the um, the first Marvel Forces and, any, and the original one as well. Um that was before this one because I didn't get the first two but then I jumped into these I might go back and try to get copies of the other ones we'll see even just a copy because I should have probably been getting them from the start uh, but yeah um, this one was uh, during Black History Month and it had a lot of characters like in it and yeah it seems like it's a good one shot so I got the regular cover I got the beautiful Sousa, Sousa or Sousa variant who did the Black History Month variants uh, which is a nice Spectrum cover, the, the former Captain, Captain Marvel. And I got the beautiful um, Olivier Coipel, um variant, which I think was added on the FOC or something with the final order cutoff. And this cover ended up going up in price. I don't know if it's retained its price at all, but it was uh, it was $20 or more at one point. So um, I was definitely glad that I pre-ordered this one because if I didn't, I probably wouldn't have got it. Um, anyway, guys... Um, I think that's where I'm going to end this since that was the last comma. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and even share if you would like to. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the next one and peace out. Bye, fuckers.